Two rocket engines stand before us, both SpaceX's Raptor, the most advanced rocket engine ever built. But the story of how one evolved into the other reveals something extraordinary about the future of space travel. The original Raptor was already a technological marvel, a complex masterpiece of pipes, valves, and wiring that earned the nickname Flying Spaghetti Monster from SpaceX engineers. It pushed the boundaries of what we believe possible in rocket propulsion, then came as successor. Gone was the intricate maze of components, replaced by something so streamlined, so elegantly simple, that when SpaceX unveiled it, even the CEO of United Launch Alliance thought it couldn't be real. Yet this stripped-down engine wasn't just simpler, it was 30% more powerful. This transformation wasn't about aesthetics, it was about SpaceX's unwavering mission to make humanity a multi-planetary species. Every unnecessary component removed, every gram of weight saved, every process simplified, brings us closer to Mars. This is the story of how SpaceX achieved the impossible, taking the world's most complex rocket engine and making it simpler, stronger, and ready for mass production. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The journey to create Raptor began in the most unlikely of places, with failure. Back in 2002, when SpaceX was just getting started, they couldn't even buy rocket engines. Every manufacturer turned them down, so they built their own, the Merlin engine. It wasn't the most powerful or efficient engine ever made, producing just 340 kilonewtons of thrust, barely enough to lift a fully loaded Boeing 747 off the ground, but it worked. And more importantly, it taught SpaceX a crucial lesson. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. This philosophy would become the foundation of everything SpaceX would build, including the revolutionary Raptor engine. But creating Raptor wasn't just about making a bigger, better Merlin. SpaceX needed something that had never been successfully built before, a full-flow stage combustion engine that could power humanity's journey to Mars. Think about the challenge for a moment. Inside a rocket engine, temperatures reach levels that would melt almost any metal known to humanity. Pressures build up to levels that could crush a submarine. And all of this has to work perfectly, thousands of times without failing. One tiny flaw, one small miscalculation, and the entire engine could destroy itself in milliseconds. The secret to making this work lies in something surprisingly simple, the fuel choice. While other companies were using traditional rocket fuels like kerosene or hydrogen, SpaceX chose methane. Yes, the same basic substance you might use to heat your home or cook your dinner could help us reach Mars. But why? The answer reveals the brilliance of SpaceX's long-term thinking. Hydrogen, while incredibly efficient, is so cold and molecules so tiny that it literally seeps through solid metal. Kerosene is easier to handle, but leaves sooty deposits that make reuse difficult. Methane strikes the perfect balance. Clean burning, dense enough to handle easily, and most importantly, something we can manufacture on Mars using local resources. But fuel choice was just the beginning. The real revolution came in how SpaceX decided to use that fuel. Traditional rocket engines waste a significant portion of their fuel literally dumping it overboard after using it to power the pumps that feed the main combustion chamber. It's like having a car where you spray some of your gasoline on the ground just to keep the engine cool. SpaceX's solution was the full-flow stage combustion cycle, something so complex that no one had ever successfully built one before. In this system, every single drop of fuel and oxidizer flows through pre-burners before reaching the main combustion chamber. Nothing is wasted, but making this work required solving problems that had stumped engineers for decades. The temperatures in these pre-burners can reach levels that would vaporize most metals. The pressure can exceed 600 bar. That's like having the weight of six fully grown elephants pressing down on every square inch of the engine. To solve this, SpaceX had to become not just a rocket company, but one of the world's most advanced metallurgy companies. They developed exotic alloys with names like SX500, materials that could withstand these extreme conditions. But even these weren't enough on their own. SpaceX had to develop innovative cooling systems, running the super cold liquid methane and oxygen through tiny channels in the engine walls, creating a protective barrier against the intense heat. The real breakthrough came with Raptor 2 
and then Raptor 3. Each iteration stripped away complexity while adding power. The first Raptor produced 185 tons of thrust and weighed over 2,000 kilograms. Raptor 2 jumped to 230 tons of thrust while dropping 400 kilograms of weight. But Raptor 3, that's where the magic really happened. When SpaceX unveiled Raptor 3, it looked almost skeletal compared to its predecessors. Gone were the complex external components, the maze of pipes and wires. In their place was something that looked almost too simple to be real. But this simplified design produced an astounding 280 tons of thrust, enough to lift 14 fully loaded semi-trucks straight up into the air. This transformation wasn't just about removing parts. It was about fundamentally rethinking how rocket engines are built. SpaceX embraced a philosophy that seems counterintuitive. The best part is no part. The best process is no process. Every component they removed was one less thing that could fail, one less thing that needed to be manufactured, one less thing that could break during reuse. They used advanced 3D printing techniques to combine multiple components into single pieces. Cooling channels that once required complex assembly could now be printed directly into the engine walls. Components that used to be bolted together were integrated into single pieces. If repairs are needed, SpaceX will literally have to cut the engine apart, but the reduced complexity more than makes up for this. The result is an engine that's not just more powerful and reliable, but also significantly cheaper to produce. This is crucial because SpaceX's plans require not just one or two Raptors, but hundreds of them. Each Starship needs at least six Raptor engines, and SpaceX plans to build a lot of Starships. But even with all these advances, Raptor isn't done evolving. SpaceX's original goals for the engine included a specific impulse of 382 seconds and thrust of 310 metric tons, targets that even Raptor 3 hasn't quite reached. They're pushing against the fundamental laws of physics now, approaching the theoretical limits of what's possible with methane fuel. Yet if there's one thing we've learned from the Raptor's development, it's that SpaceX has a way of turning the impossible into reality. Every iteration brings new improvements, new solutions to problems that seemed unsolvable. The journey from the first Raptor to Raptor 3 isn't just a story of engineering achievement. It's a testament to human ingenuity and determination. This is the engine that could take humanity to Mars, not just as a one-off stunt, but as the beginning of permanent human presence on another planet. Every simplification, every improvement, every gram of weight saved brings that goal closer to reality. The Raptor engine isn't just a triumph of engineering. It's the key to making humanity a multi-planetary species. The evolution of Raptor tells us something profound about human innovation. When SpaceX started this journey, experts said a full-flow stage combustion engine was impossible. They said mass-producing such engines was a fantasy. They said simplifying something so complex couldn't be done. But with each iteration, with each seemingly impossible problem solved, SpaceX proved that boundaries are meant to be pushed. As Raptor continues to evolve, it's not just breaking records, it's breaking down the barriers between Earth and Mars. This is technology that will right unfold, right here, right now. Two thousand twenty-four has marked an extraordinary chapter in space exploration, with SpaceX shattering records and redefining what's possible. While launching over one hundred Falcon rockets is impressive enough. It's the Starship program that's truly revolutionizing space travel. This marvel of engineering, the largest rocket ever built, has defied skeptics by successfully launching not once, but six times, proving that the impossible is now reality. But what's coming in 2025 is even more remarkable. SpaceX is gearing up for an ambitious schedule of 25 Starship launches. That's two launches every month. To achieve this unprecedented feat, they're rolling out groundbreaking infrastructure upgrades, including a more powerful and sophisticated water deluge system that's pushing the boundaries of launch pad technology. Welcome to Space Frontier, where we explore the latest breakthroughs in space technology. Let's dive right in. At the heart of SpaceX's ambitious 2025 launch schedule lies a story of human ingenuity and perseverance. 
When engineers first proposed the concept of Launchpad B, many industry veterans claimed it was impossible. You can't handle that much thermal energy, they said. The acoustic forces will tear the pad apart. But SpaceX's team didn't just prove them wrong. They revolutionized launch pad technology in the process. The journey began with a crisis during early Starship testing. The immense power of 33 Raptor engines had literally melted portions of the original launch pad, creating a moment of truth for the entire program. Engineers worked around the clock, knowing that the future of space exploration hung in the balance. Their solution? A revolutionary water deluge system that would become the cornerstone of Launch Pad B. This isn't just any cooling system. It's an engineering marvel that pushes the boundaries of what's possible. Picture this. During launch, the pad unleashes a carefully choreographed symphony of water distribution with over 40,000 gallons per second flowing through a network of pipes that would span several football fields if laid end to end. The dual flame trench design, featuring two specialized flame buckets, represented a breakthrough moment in launch pad engineering. When the team first tested the system, the results exceeded even their most optimistic projections. But the road to success wasn't smooth. During early development, a catastrophic test failure threatened to derail the entire project. Water pressure surges had ruptured critical components, sending shockwaves through the aerospace community. Instead of backing down, SpaceX's engineers turned this setback into an opportunity. They developed an innovative curved water manifold pipe system, supported by six reinforced beams that could handle pressures previously thought impossible. The temperatures during a Starship launch are almost beyond comprehension, hot enough to vaporize steel in seconds. The acoustic energy alone generates waves of sound so powerful they could literally tear apart conventional launch pads. This is where the true brilliance of Launch Pad B's design shines. The system doesn't just spray water, it creates a protective barrier that dances with the forces of nature, adapting and responding in real time to changing conditions. Behind the scenes, a network of over 1,000 sensors continuously monitors every aspect of the launch environment. Advanced artificial intelligence algorithms process this data in milliseconds, adjusting water flow patterns to maintain optimal protection. During one crucial test, this system detected and corrected a potentially catastrophic imbalance in less time than it takes to blink. The engineering team faced another pivotal challenge, how to handle the extreme thermal gradients created during launch. Traditional materials would crack under such stress, but SpaceX developed a revolutionary composite material specifically for the flame trenches. This breakthrough has caught the attention of aerospace engineers worldwide with some calling it the biggest advancement in launch pad technology since the space race. The impact of these innovations extends far beyond SpaceX. The company's willingness to share certain aspects of their technology has sparked a renaissance in launch pad design. Space agencies from Europe to Asia are now incorporating elements of SpaceX's water deluge system into their own facilities, creating a ripple effect that's transforming the entire industry. Environmental considerations played a crucial role in the design process. The team developed an intricate water reclamation system that captures and purifies over 90% of the water used during each launch. This system serves as a model for sustainable space operations, proving that environmental responsibility and technological advancement can go hand in hand. Looking toward the future, SpaceX's engineers are already working on the next generation of improvements. Early tests of an experimental plasma-based cooling system show promising results, though this technology remains years away from implementation. The current water deluge system continues to evolve, with each launch providing valuable data for refinement. The contrast with other launch technologies becomes particularly stark when examining alternatives like Spin Launch's centrifugal system. While innovative, their approach faces fundamental challenges that highlight the brilliance of SpaceX's solution. The extreme G-forces in Spin Launch's system, exceeding 10,000 Gs, limit its practical applications. Meanwhile, SpaceX's water deluge system allows Starship to launch with relatively modest G-forces of 3 to 5 Gs, making it suitable for a wide range of payloads and missions. As Launch Pad B prepares for its role in SpaceX's ambitious 2025 schedule, the significance of these technological achievements becomes clear. 
Each launch will subject the pad to forces equivalent to several nuclear power plants operating at full capacity. The water deluge system must perform flawlessly every time, as even a minor malfunction could have catastrophic consequences. The human element of this story cannot be overlooked. The engineers who designed and built Launch Pad B weren't just solving technical problems, they were pursuing a dream of making space more accessible. Many had grown up watching shuttle launches, dreaming of the day when space travel would become routine. Now their innovations are making that dream possible. Testing the water deluge